beautiful Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jali here with your career reading for the end of March right through to the end of April 2022. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pertain to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I'll never ask you for your credit card details, and I'll never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Gemini, I'm doing this reading on the 21st of March 2022, so it's good right through to the 21st of April. Uh, I'm just going to get all of your energy before I clarify your reading, so let us see what is coming out for you. Thank you so much for it, guys. Uh, we've got the Hangman. Okay, we've also got the Justice card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Some of you may be waiting for contracts or waiting for news on something. Uh, we've also got the Moon card here, and we've got the High Priestess. So I definitely feel like there is a little bit of um, not a setback in your career. I feel like there's a holding energy going on, an overall sort of waiting and watching, trying to use your intuition about something. Perhaps you're feeling a little bit confused about your direction, or you're feeling a little bit sort of like uh, waiting for um, to be able to take action on something. We're going to go deeper and find out what that is and how it's going to work out for you. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Gemini? What do they need to know regarding their career? We've got the Queen of Wands. Just to let you know, I'm only using this deck in the upright. Uh, so uh, I get uh, a little bit more energy about what's going on for you. Thank you so much. The beautiful uh, Key Tarot Love Tarot tech deck there by uh, Kia Grattan. Uh, we got the Empress, we got the Hangman again showing up in your reading. So that means you're on pause in some way. Perhaps you're waiting for another opportunity. Um, I feel like some of you are really trying to work out a, a job or a career path that frees up your time, your energy, so that you've got more time for you. Um, and um, let's see, let's see what's happening here. The Hangman. So this is your protagonist energy, and it's coming out as the sort of unified energy as well, the hangman. So you're waiting on something. Um, now, we've got the king of swords here as well. So you're formulating a plan. So perhaps you're, you're sort of in that strategy kind of uh, stage where uh, either you're trying to wait and negotiate a better deal on something, or you're waiting and you're thinking about the next move in terms of your career. We've got the empress here as well. So you know you deserve better in a situation. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you've hit a glass ceiling in terms of your career um, or your uh, feeling for what it is that you do. I just feel like there's this limbo kind of energy and I feel like you've had it either a bit of time out to reflect on um, what opportunities you want to manifest and which direction you want to go in. But I also feel with this card, I'm getting sacrifice. You've sacrificed a lot for your career and I feel like you're looking at whether the sacrifice is worth it because you feel like you deserve more um, than what you're getting at this moment in time. So I feel I feel like this watching and waiting kind of energy and you may take yourself off grid for a little bit to really focus on what it is you need to focus within you. Now when you get this card, I'm going to pull a quick card on it as well, it may feel like you are trying to gain a new perspective on uh, something and release this sort of stagnant energy. So um, I just want to clarify this uh, card for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please clarify the hangman? The Knight of Cups. So uh, I feel like your love for what you do, I mean, it may still be there, but I feel like um, you've lost your spirit for it or you've felt a little bit unmotivated by it. Um, the Knight of Cups in the reverse can mean that, you know, you feel they have unrealistic expectations from you, that you feel 
you're not being rewarded for. For example, uh, if you work for a company, they may be giving you more and more and more work and have unexpected sort of, uh, you know, they have unrealistic deadlines and then you're not being fairly recompensed for it. Like you're not getting a promotion or you're not getting a raise or you feel like there's something here where you're like losing your love for what you do or you've taken a step back because you feel it's not rewarding. It's not forthgiving. Uh, you don't feel aligned with this anymore or perhaps you feel like there's no encouragement where you're at and you just feel like a loss of spirit is what I'm getting here you may be feeling a little bit uh, sort of um, sensitive about um, I just get this energy of being sensitive and sort of you've got more in you to prove and you, you you've got a direction that you want to go in but right now you feel like you cannot offer it uh, or you've yeah, lost your motivation for it uh, recently. Doesn't mean that you don't love long term, uh, you know, what you do and that you will revive your spirits for it. Because I definitely see the page of wands here, which is about, you know, you pushing boundaries and feeling that adventurous spirit again and feeling really interested and not bored uh, in what you do. But right now, I feel like you've taken a bit of a step back to really reassess what's going on in your career. Um, the King of Swords, and this, this reading's good right through to the 21st of April, as I said there. King of Swords is a keen strategist, someone who's very intellectual. And Gemini, you absolutely have a lot of smarts. You are very um, intellectual. And you also have a lot of creative spirit within you. I mean, to have these two cards back to back shows your duality, the logical side of you, and then that creative romantic side of you about dreaming and what you want to achieve. So I feel like you're having a bit of a push and pull, maybe even a head over heart moment with regards to your career. So with the King of Swords, I feel like you are uh, trying to seek your inner truth and you're thinking before you act. You're not just going to rush into something. I feel like you're assessing the foundations of what you do. You're trying to analyze, as it were, or take Take account of uh, you know your process um, and you know be decisive about making a next clear decision in your career. Uh, I feel you're trying to be rational about something that you love doing, and that's very that's a really good space to be in because some people are really foolhardy and they kind of just run into something because they love doing it, but they never really think about like the legalities or the contracts or the you know the hard work if you want to be an entrepreneur for example because this is an entrepreneurial card you may want to work for yourself or you may want to step into a leadership position but with great success comes great responsibility and a lot more like uh, red tape and uh, contracts and more paperwork and more more of your time so I feel like you're trying to work smarter not harder so you're trying to formulate a plan that sort of encompasses not only your creative ability, but also, uh, you know, your thinking mind, um, where you're clever about what you do in order to give yourself some more freedom, um, and whilst at the same time earning money, of course. Um, now, that King of Swords in indicates your you're formulating a plan, okay? And the Empress card is about your ability to create that plan and make it something incredible and abundant. The Empress is someone who's already sort of had the idea, planted the seed, someone who uh, sort of nurtures an idea to term so that it becomes very, uh, you know, uh, it flourishes and it becomes very, very successful. This card is you recognizing that you have healthy boundaries, that you deserve a lot more than you're getting in your career at this moment. And it, it's like you brimming with potential to manifest whatever it is you want. You have infinite possibilities to be successful, okay? Uh, the Empress card is also about material gain. It can be about material prosperity uh, and that you've planted seeds. You've got wonderful ideas, Gemini. You think outside the box, you're really original, but you may have had to take some time out to really formulate those ideas and release any restrictions that may be holding you back in life in order to take action, okay? So I feel like you're getting ready for something here. Uh, the Empress card is also about you know, um, doing things with beauty, with panache, with sh sh flair. They give me the word flair. I was going to say being chic. You know, some of you may be wanting to get into the beauty industry, for example, because the Empress is all about, uh, you know, beauty. Uh, and we've also got the Queen of Wands there, which sort of amplifies that. Or it could be about, you know, uh, directing some of the w work of what you do, creative flow, uh, being directed towards children, because the Empress is a, a motherly type energy. Male or female, this is not a gender-specific reading. It's about the energy. So I feel like you're formulating 
explaining a lot of ideas that go with your creative spark, your individuality, your ability to express yourself. And I feel like you're taking some time out to think about what is the best direction for you. Because we do have, in the resistance position, we've got the justice card. So you've been feeling maybe a little bit out of balance recently, or uh, you, you may be working, for example, within a sector that you feel nobody takes any accountability for their actions and you're always left there, you know, having to work it all out, solve the problems, pick up the, you know what, the, when the SHIT hits the fan for everybody. So I feel there's, with this energy, um, I feel like you just want to have balance, but when you get the justice card in connection with your career, it means you're trying to find some sort of solution or you're trying to find uh, your personal inner truth and make a life changing decision. The, the Justice card is about a life-changing decision that your future self will thank you for. And right now, you may be trying to work out which direction you go in, okay? Um, it, it's not about going in with blind faith. It is about using your intuition. Whenever you see a blindfolded figure in Tarot, it's about taking away your senses of sight for a moment to use your other instincts, your, to use your intuition to guide you to the truth or to guide you to where you want to go. So I feel like you are trying to uh, trust your intuition and work out, uh, find balance um, between work and play. Now, some of you, for example, you may have, be, you may be on hold or on pause right now because uh, perhaps there's some sort of um, legal dispute going on at a workspace. This is not going to resonate for everyone this part because. Um, I'm only getting a small percentage of energy, but some of you may be disputing a contract or something like that with regards to uh, a, a, a workspace. And I feel like you may be going in another direction because you know that you have that creative flair. I feel like whoever is losing out on having you work there is really losing out. They're missing out on losing the Gemini from their, um, their creative space because you come with so many ideas and you are the sort of person who will formulate the idea and take action. You, you can do it all, okay? Um, now, some of you are going to be trying to set up your own business, step into a leadership position, responsibility, especially with that King of Swords. I mean, some of you may be even thinking about taking this international or expanding your business abroad because the King of Swords connects to that international energy. Um, now, you may be thinking about partnering up with somebody uh, because we've got the Empress and we've got the King of Swords. It doesn't have to be, but I just want to pull a quick card on that before um, we move forward. Uh, Page of Swords, thinking about it. So perhaps there's, uh, you're thinking about all options available to you. Some of you are going to be thinking with that energy of duality, um, you know, having uh, several streams of income. So you may be thinking about maybe uh, doing what you do, then opening yourself up to perhaps a creative business with a friend on the side or uh, a family member or something where, uh, you know, it's something that you're curious about exploring. You haven't decided yet, but you're, 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 you're investigating it further, okay? It's an interesting concept. So I feel like you're thinking about it. Um, now, the Justice card, if you're setting up your own business, et cetera, et cetera, um, you know, you may have found it very challenging because there's a lot of legalities that go with setting up an enterprise and things like that. So you may be going through like red tape and lots of contracts and you may feel a little bit like frustrated that you're the sort of person who wants to just be really creative and get out there and just do it, but then you're bogged down with paperwork. It is important to do that, and I would pay close attention to any sort of fine print and things like that. Make sure you, um, because with the four of uh, cups here, uh, they're just indicating that you're bored with, you know, you're, especially with the queen of wands, like you're this wonderful creative spark and you get a little bit bored with the paperwork. It's like, oh, why do I have to do all this? Uh, so I feel there may be a little element of that that comes through in the next four to five weeks. I mean, there are some people who really thrive on paperwork and spreadsheets and things like that. I'm not that person, but I do understand where, uh, you know, I have some friends that they love it. They're like, give me all your paperwork. I'll do it. And I'm like, seriously? And they're like, yeah. And they just, they love it all up. Um, but the Queen of Wands here, um, I feel, especially having this card and this card in the challenge position, there may be somebody that you have not been vibing with at your workspace. Someone who, uh, I feel like you're bored of their actions, but they try to either chip your confidence or they are, you know, they're quite a cold person uh, because it's like I get these two cards in the resistance position. It's like you get it in the reverse, okay? So I feel there's someone here that uh, perhaps you're just watching, waiting and formulating a plan. Perhaps some of you are actually taking this person to HR because you're, you're fed up. You, you deserve better respect. And I feel like you're fed up of this sort of level of childishness in the workspace. Uh, again, that's not going to resonate for everyone, but that's an energy that I'm feeling coming through. Now, they're actually showing me a bottle top. 
um, squatting in the water at the same time as doing your reading. Uh, they just showed me someone, you know, you know when you've got those bottles and you, you get the sort of bottle opener, it's like, you know, and they've got that little uh, unique top that's on there. They just showed me one of those. Now I can't see what kind of drink it is. Um, I mean, that looks like someone maybe kicking back with a beer or something, or I mean, maybe it's a bottle top that you've just found because they showed me the bottle top on the floor. So perhaps you've come across a very unique bottle top on the floor um, and you're being really diligent and you just popped it in the trash or something like that because it's on the walk. Or maybe it's a very unique, colorful one that looks really colorful and you're using it to create something. Uh, so please take it as it resonates. I'm not really sure how it does resonate. I mean, you can get some of those bottle tops that go with fizzy drinks and things like that as well. So it doesn't always have to be like beer. Uh, so. I mean, maybe you're having one as you're listening to this reading and you just took off the bottle top of something. I can't really tell how it resonates with your reading. Um, maybe it's about you lifting the lid on something. Maybe. I'm not really sure. So please take it as it resonates, especially when you've got that uh, justice card there. It could be that you're lifting the lid on something or you're, you know, op opening up something for discussion. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it like that. The Queen of Wands, when you overcome the challenge... Okay, so if this is you setting up your own business, for example, and you overcome the challenge of all the paperwork and the, the red tape, the Queen of Wands is someone who is very, very confident. So I feel like if you've been feeling a lack of motivation drive or you felt like your spirits have been dampened recently in your career or you've hit a glass ceiling in some way, this is about you rebuilding your confidence and coming back to your feisty self, okay? This is Leo energy, so I feel like this is about you sort of recognizing that you have a lot of potential and you're not afraid afraid to make people aware of it because I feel there may have been some I just get this energy that somewhere along the line you've been disrespected or people have not respected what you're capable of and I feel like now they're going to take you seriously okay is what I'm getting uh, also if you've been feeling a little bit bored in your career or you've been feeling like that your love for what you do has in some way just like you become numb or something, you've been coasting, you've been maybe in that habit of like committing to your goals, your dreams and everything like that and it's a repetitive cycle, you may be feeling a little bit sort of Groundhog Day and just feeling a little bit meh. So when you get the Four of Cups, it is actually a, you know, a feeling of unfulfilled um, where you're at, uh, but there's a surprise offer from the universe that all of a sudden piques your interest. So it could be that where you're at, you're thinking about um, either stepping into a leadership role or some sort of promotion and then all of a sudden your workspace offers it you know it's almost like you think these ideas to life thoughts become things so if you're like damn you know what i really i really want a promotion and then all of a sudden you hear that someone is leaving their position and then a you know a position becomes available and they approach you for that the four of cups is finding an alternative thing that makes you feel alive again that really revives your spirits they want me to show you the traditional four of cups in the traditional right away oh no they said the traditional one uh yeah so we'll go to this one uh this one is the vintage one so uh four of cups um and look at that i love that at the bottom of the deck big old offer of a coin there uh four of cups uh, followed by the sun loving that um the four of cups there's a figure under the tree and they're feeling really fed up okay and um three cups go before and all of those cups are just not fulfilling so it's like everything that you've known or you've been working for or that you're faced with at this moment in time it's not fulfilling and the universe can see that uh, you know you're capable of more you're capable of um more achievement more everything so the universe brings a bigger cup so there's a bigger opportunity on its way for you um so i feel there's i was expect the unexpected i feel like there is something that you truly deserve coming here for your skill set. Um, and I feel like an offer is being made towards you, something that aligns with your heart. As you can see, we've got, I like this card because if you have a look, uh, rather than someone being really fed up, it's not being ungrateful uh, with those cups that are presented. It's just, it doesn't vibe with the soul. It's not in alignment with the soul path. So as you can see, it's the same with these hearts. You can still love little things, but this one's the big jackpot. So I feel... The things that you're doing at the moment, you had love for those things, and you may still love doing what you do, but I feel like there's something else, like another idea, the big jackpot idea that you've got, maybe to bring in a second stream of income that you really want to activate. And as you can see, it's like a big old, you know, there's like, do you call them geysers or geysers? Like, because they're showing me Iceland right now with those, um, 
I know this is like, a, a, normally I would think this is a, like a volcano type thing, but they're showing me Iceland like a, a geyser or geyser or whatever you call it. And it's like, suddenly it's like pff, this burst of energy. Um, and water in Tarot tends to mean uh, dreams or goals or, you know, so, um, and love for what you do. So I feel like all of a sudden you're making your mark. There's like this big idea. So I feel you're going to, you're going to be feeling fulfilled once you overcome the challenge and make a decision. There's some sort of decision you have to make in the next four to five weeks. You'll become aware of it round about the first week of April, okay? Um, if you're not already thinking about it, okay? Now the outcome energy is interesting because we've got the moon card here, which is all about uncertainty. So maybe you're doing something different that you've never done before or that your family have never done before. So you're making headway. You're like a trailblazer because you're making your mark. And you're certainly using your intuition with that um, high priestess energy. And um, the high priestess is in between worlds, okay? She uses her intuition to guide her because she's sort of on the, she's on the, the cusp of using logic and using in, in sort of intuition and instinct. And that's what you're doing. You're, you're using head over heart, but you're combining the two in order to make a decision. And what's wonderful about the high priestess is like all of a sudden it all comes to light, okay? You become aware of the wisdom. You become aware of what you want to do. This is, you know, your subconscious mind telling you to have faith that you're, it's almost like you're having some sort of vision or it could be a mystical vision even where something that you think about, you absolutely bring about. It's like, I feel like you'll have a conversation with a friend where you're like, damn, I was just thinking about doing this thing. And then the opportunity just arose and was presented to me. And I'm like, that's weird, but it's not. You called it into being, you are the visionary, okay? So um, with the moon card, this is really interesting because this is also a card of intuition. And you know, um, you, you're processing a lot of things and blossoming, um, despite uncertain circumstances, you are using your intuition to navigate you through a difficult time. So um, with the moon card, um, you know, wonderful opportunities lie dormant or lie in sort of the shadows. And I feel like one is going to pop right out for you over the next four to five weeks, something that you've only been thinking about and then it just shows up. Okay. Um, sorry, I just had a uh, spirit uh, sort of grab my arm for a minute. Uh, could you please? They're showing me a ro robin. Okay. They were guiding my arm. So either you're going to be walking with someone, a friend, um, and they actually tug your, maybe your left arm, um, and say, oh, look, look, look at the robin. There's, there's a little robin bird. Um, it's a sign. It's a signifier. But I feel like maybe you don't see it first. Someone goes, oh, look at the, look at the robin, because my guides just brought me to look at the robin. Uh, now there's no robin here, okay? I'm squatting at the same time as the, the, in the water, and I did not see it until they tugged my arm, and then so, so I went to look at what was tugging my arm, and they went, look at the water, I'm sorry, look at the robin. So then I went back to the water, and the robin has appeared in the water. So I feel like they wanted you be, to be aware that someone says, look at the robin, okay? That's the signifier over the next couple of weeks about some sort of opportunity all of a sudden shifting in your uh, creative field. Now, there is a question mark here, Gemini, with this moon card, because they're showing me the dog and the wolf, which is, you know, they're both part of the same sort of uh, species, entity, like, you know, both of them are pack animals, and you know, dogs are a bit more sort of domestic, a bit more settled down. So there may be an opportunity here to either work from home or um, there's something here, maybe you've been loyal to a company for a while, but you're thinking about going out on your own uh, because the wolf represents independence. So there may be some sort of head over heart moment with regards to independence and either being your own boss or moving to a different company or thinking about getting another job, um, but that brings a little bit more time for you um, and a little bit more excitement into your world. And uh, I just feel like there's like a little bit of a battle. There is a big choice that occurs here. Um, and I feel like your independent spirit wins because um, not only have we got the hangman, which is again, a little bit of a weight or a little bit of an in limbo energy. I feel like it brings sacrifice. So you either let go of something in order to gain something greater, something better, okay? The hangman puts himself on the tree of life in order to see things from a different perspective. Some say to just turn his life upside down in order to find a different way to happiness uh, because the sun always shines, uh, you know, on the horizon in the, in the, 
the, the hangman energy. So I feel like you're seeing your happy spot or you're seeing your success, your goals from a different angle and you're working out a better way to get there. I just keep getting this energy of working smarter, not harder so that you leave some time for you. Okay. Um, now we got the page of wands. The page of wands is wonderful because it signifies, you know, uh, an eagerness to uh, achieve. You're taking in the initiative, feeling that vitality again, and I feel like you're committing yourself to your goals and dreams. The page of wands is someone who is adventurous. They venture forward. It could be the beginning of a new project, um, or it could be you acting on this idea that you've been having and feeling that spark of inspiration again, but you're being true to your desire. You're following your heart, but you also have the smarts to back it up. So it's not like some whimsical idea, you've really thought this through. Whenever you get this uh, card, it reminds you that your dreams have, have value. So please dream big because you are capable of dreaming big and achieving. Uh, this is about you venturing forward, like pushing boundaries, coming out of a comfort zone. But most importantly, this is a card where you get active, either on a new project or a new creative idea, and you give yourself more time, more energy for you. This is about adventure. So I feel like there's something really exciting here that you are, you've been thinking about doing for a while. I mean, You've, hangman energy indicates this is a long-term thinking thing. You've, you've ruminated on this and now you're deciding to take action on something. Now, but I feel if you look at your cards, you know, you've got the king of swords, which is thinking about the idea, the strategy. The empress is, you know that you're creative enough to do this. You know that you have so much potential to be successful and create a lot of abundance. And the outcome energy, I mean, there's a little bit of lack of confidence here, my beautiful Gemini, so just be a little bit mindful. It's only when you need to make a decision. When you need to make a decision, you feel very indecisive and sometimes you overthink and you don't want to make a wrong move. So sometimes I feel there's a little bit of conflict within you and you get a little bit of low uh, confidence in having to make a decision, especially a big one. You're like, I hope I make the right decision. Spirit indicates you will make the right decision as long as you trust your intuition, okay? But the Page of Wands um, brings news. So I do feel like you're thinking about something and then the news just comes on in and you're like, oh, you're still in the waiting energy. So I feel like you haven't really, like you've thought about doing it. I feel like you've nurtured the idea, but whilst you're waiting or whilst you're trying to, you know, you're still in the planning stages, some sort of opportunity comes to light. Something comes towards you, okay? So I do feel like it's almost like you're thinking and then it arrives. And that shows you the power of your mind. We all have that power to conjure up what we truly deserve in our world. And the the, the Justice card tells me that you really, you really do deserve it, okay? You deserve this success. So I'm gonna pull a little bit more cards just to see um, what energy I got coming out here for you. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, for Angels. Can you please guide uh, my beautiful Gemini? Anything further they need to know about their career? The Four of Wands in the reverse. So that's leaving something behind. That is like either there's some sort of uh, dispute or argument with somebody that you're rising above uh, within your workspace. Perhaps it's someone who is not appreciating your um, skill set um, and you're just, you're, I mean, it could be that you're you're feeling isolated in the space because we got the five of pentacles here, which you know you're thinking about leaving a situation or abandoning a situation. Sometimes also um, you think about your skill set, my beautiful Gemini, and you see what you don't have. They want you to be aware of what you do have. Don't draw attention to any um, things that you feel you cannot do because um, everybody's the same. Every human is thinking about. The things they cannot do and they hope that nobody else can notice those things you know what they say some people say fake it till you make it that sort of thing um but you know this is about you um not focusing on the negative because most of us humans we we our go-to spot unfortunately is uh to think about the things we lack or i'm not good at this i'm not good at that or they want you to turn it around and be aware of what you really are good at. So I feel like they're like separate yourself from any negative thinking, uh, especially with the Knight of Swords in the reverse as well. Um, also, I feel like you're not even really going to have to take action, major action on this. I feel like an opportunity comes to you in the next four to five weeks. But I feel like this is something that you've been planning or formulating. Uh, I feel the opportunity just arises. OK. Um, now, the Knight of Swords in the reverse, along with these cards, 
what I'm getting is if there's someone who's been really deliberately unkind to you at your workspace, I feel they're going to leave. And this could be the position that you get. Or I feel like this person is going to leave. So if you're if you're thinking about leaving a space because of a person, I feel very, very soon you're going to hear that they're leaving. So really base your opinions and your decisions uh, on them leaving. Because if you like the job but you hate the person uh, or you can't vibe with the person or the person is trying to make your life hell, for example, um, it may all change once they remove their energy from the, the space. So just be a little bit mindful of that, okay? Um, let me see if there's anything more. Let's go and get a different energy. Um, anything further for my beautiful Geminis before I close the reading? Because it seems to be about you formulating a plan and some really good news coming on in, something you've been waiting for. Oh my gosh. Gemini, I cannot believe it. Um, I love it when Spirit gives you that. I love it when Spirit gives you that. So different deck, same card. Just now, Five of Pentacles though, in reverse. And if you want the outcome, Five of Pentacles, you want it in reverse, okay? In reverse, it indicates either a new job or new hope. Hope returns, you recover a situation, someone has left and everything is brighter again. So I feel like this is, you know, you recognizing as well that you've got everything you need within you to be successful. Focus on your good points, not on the bad, okay? I'm just gonna go again. Thank you so much, for guys. Ace of Pentacles, the card at the bottom of the deck that you're always meant to see. OK, um, so I feel there is an offer coming on in here that is financially rewarding, but I feel either you take yourself out of a situation or there's someone being removed from a situation at your workspace um, and or something is removed. I mean, maybe there's a blockage if you're an entrepreneur and you work for yourself, for example, there may have been some sort of blockage or you may have financially had a bit of a loss recently or you may have worried about loss in some way um, and I feel like whatever you lost you recover that's what this card means whatever you lost out on comes right back to you you recover it but in a better way and in a bigger way with the ace of pentacles there is either a promotion raise new money coming on in here new investment income um, and I feel something that the universe is navigating towards you because remember your four cups the four cups is that offer of the extra big cup something that's more rewarding, something that's more fulfilling. And I feel like this is going to be something that puts a big old smile on your face. But you're going to have a head over heart moment first, okay? So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. I'm just going to get you uh, some um, personal power oracle deck cards by Dea Druitt. Thank you so much for it, guys. This is just like a little mantra for you to re be reminded as you move through the time period. Okay, they just want those two. Uh, so it says, I am divinely guided, and it's number 12, which is your first card, number 12, okay? It's the hangman. Uh, so even though you've been waiting for something, things happen on divine timing, not on our timing. But when we think about something and the emperor says, you're ready, then things appear. They always say, you know, when the student is ready, the, tu the tutor appears or the teacher appears. When you are ready, the path will appear. It's just like, now that you're getting yourself ready, the opportunity appears so I feel that you're in the flow okay and you are divinely guided also I am unbreakable so if you are dealing with someone who has um, tried to knock your dreams whether it's a, a family member or whether it is uh, a, a frenemy or whether it is someone at your workspace who is causing uh, havoc or trying to put a lot of you know stuff on you and be um, mean in some way singling you out they're indicating you are unbreakable and it's number 14 which is the temperance card for patience okay so with time that person or that situation is going to be removed or they're going to change their mindset and see you be really successful and i feel like they're going to be like huh gemini gemini did good right so um you are unbreakable you can do anything and nothing is going to hold you back okay so very important energy for your career even though i mean there is some money coming on in as well of course but the focus of the time period is more than money it's more about you enjoying what you do and formulating a plan and that plan coming to life okay so that's what's happening over the next four to five weeks for you i'm just going to get a trinket before we close thank you so much oh oh look at that so we have the worker bee Okay, which is very important because something that you've been working on formulating will be rewarding is what the, there's going to be sweet reward at the end of it. Okay, and you know, they did this before and maybe even for your sign, but they're giving me queen B. Queen B. So either some of you are going to be entrepreneurs and have people working for you or um, 
Queen B, it's about respect that you truly deserve, especially since you got an Empress card. Now, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. So it could be King B as well. But, you know, uh, there is there a King B? I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think there's only a Queen B. Uh, but um, I feel like this is something you've been working for, sort of the structure, the planning stages, it brings a really awesome reward, okay? And they want me to put it on the Ace of Pentacles, so I guess that is the reward. You've been working really hard and you deserve it. Uh, and most important of all is peace of mind. you got the peace sign, okay? So there will be peace, there will be serenity, there will be good times. Uh, this is about um, everything formulating, coming together, and slotting in in the right place, okay? So where would you, oh, interesting, they want it on the Page of Wands. So I feel maybe you feel more peace, my beautiful Gemini, especially being with that sign of duality where you can be active to express yourself and uh, create a unique setting for you to work within, explore your boundaries. You like pushing boundaries, okay? So I feel that's something that actually brings you peace. Nothing, There is nothing worse than being stuck in a rut and being bored and feeling like you're stuck where you're at. Uh, I feel like you're formulating a plan to get yourself out of that energy and spirit comes to meet you halfway and gives you an opportunity to do that, okay? So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Geminis. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me, okay? Thank you so much, my beautiful Gemini. Love and light.